The Bible said God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So there was a voice spoke from heaven said that this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And then when Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, uh, then when he uh, come up out of the water, the Bible said the Holy Spirit descended in a bodily shape like a dove and rested upon him. Uh, the Spirit of God rested upon him. So there's, there's God, there's the Spirit, and there is the Lord Jesus three, uh, all of them together there. Uh, all of them together there. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit tonight. And these three are one. The Bible says in 1 John, these three are one. You can't separate them. They're, they're one. So uh, uh, tonight we need to pray in the name of Jesus because it was Jesus that went to Calvary. It was Jesus that died on the cross for our sin. It was Jesus that paid the sin debt for our, uh, but without uh, his blood being shed upon Calvary's cross. We couldn't have got forgiveness for our sin, Brother Jim. And God uh, wants us to honor his son because his son honored him. He did what the Father told him to do. He, he, you know, God was glorified in him because he always did that what was pleasing uh, unto God. And then the second thing, the, uh, the second condition of a, an acceptable prayer is faith. Yeah. You've got to have faith to pray, you know. You know, you can't pray, just pray a prayer. You've got to have faith. faith. And faith, you're, you know how you get faith? The Bible said faith comes by hearing. That's right. And hearing by the word of God. That's how you get faith. You see, you can't be saved without faith. By, the Bible says also in Ephesians there, the second chapter, it says in Ephesians that for by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourself. It is a gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast, uh, but it's a gift of God. So, uh, you know, in order to be saved... You've got to have faith. And faith comes by hearing the word of God. You've got to hear the message of God. You've got to hear the message that Jesus died for your sin, that he was buried, and that he arose again. He did that because we were all sinners. We were all lost. Jesus went to Calvary. He died upon the cross. He shed his blood take away the sin of the world. John the Baptist preached it. He said, Behold, the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. He died on Calvary's cross to take away the sin of the world. My friend, we got to have faith and believe that Jesus died on Calvary because of your sin and my sin and the sin of the whole world. Brother, he took, it, he took our sin and nailed it to a cross so that we could have life and have it more abundant. So that we could have a home in heaven tonight. I praise God. It takes faith, my friend, uh, to be saved tonight. It takes faith to live for God tonight. It takes faith tonight. If we're going to pray, my friend, we got to pray in faith, believing that Jesus will do what he said he'd do. And all things, the Bible says there, whatsoever ye asked in prayer, believing ye shall receive. <laughs> whatsoever you asked in prayer, believing Matthew 21 and 22, ye shall receive whatsoever you ask believing. That's what faith it is. It's believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's turning your heart over to him and, and believing that, uh, you know, that if you accept him in your heart, that he'll forgive you of your sins. The Bible said without uh, the shedding of blood, there'd be no remission for sin. In other words, if Christ hadn't went to Calvary and died on Calvary's cross, uh, my friend, and shed his blood, we couldn't get forgiveness for our sins. It wouldn't make no difference how much you prayed because uh, you, could, if you couldn't pray in a prayer of faith and get forgiveness if Jesus hadn't shed that blood. He done took care of the sin of the world, my friend. All we have to do is believe in our heart that Jesus died for our sins. He's already paid the price. He's not coming back to do anything else. He's done done the work at Calvary. And brother, when he rose from the grave, brother, uh, there was victory over death, hell, and the grave. He conquered it all so you and I could have it all. Hallelujah. Now, all we have to do is have faith. Then, another condition of an acceptable prayer. You know, there's conditions, uh, you know, to get our prayers answered. That's right. And another one is being sincere. That's right. 
said, Sir, you know, here's what it said in Second Chronicles 7 and 14. He said, If my people yeah. call by my name that say they're Christians, that say they're saved, shall humble themselves. That's right. See, that's what you got to do. You got to humble yourself. In other words, you got to submit yourself to the will of God. That's what it means to humble yourself. Not, a lot of people don't want to give in to the will of God. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Yeah. See, you've got to do all, that's the conditions of getting a, your prayers answered. You've got to humble yourself. You've got to call on his name. You've got to pray and seek his face. Yeah. I mean, and turn from, the, from their wicked ways. You've got to turn away from your sins. You got to turn away from self. You got to turn away from pride. You got to give all these things up and just come and pour your heart out to Jesus. That's all I can tell you to do. Yeah. Say, Lord, be just like the old sinner boy said, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Brother, you got to call upon him and, and cry out to him. He said, if they turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. That's right. And I'll forgive their sin and heal their land. My friend, God will do a work if we'll do what he tells us to do. There's a condition of an acceptable prayer tonight. 